Hey guys, welcome to Dozer Rescue, I'm Dozer. If you're an EMT, a paramedic, firefighter, ER tech, RN, flight medic or flight nurse, then this video is gonna be for you. Today, I'm gonna to be covering my most favorite iPhone applications for medical providers. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how I set them up and hopefully you guys can customize them so it helps you out in the field and off duty. So with that said, let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and start off here with the far left, top left corner. We have uh, the files application. Um, in a nutshell, this is where you can keep all your documents, your PDFs, your Word files, Excel sheets, whatever. And you have it right there, easily accessible for you um, whenever you need them. Moving on next here, we have the NREMT application um, for all my emergency medicine folks. This is where you can take a look at your certifications, your licenses really easily. So if you're NREMTs, your advanced EMTs, your paramedics, um, anything like that, you can pull up your credentials and stuff right there, log in, look at your continuing education, your uh, renewal applications, all that information is right there, super easily accessible for you. Next to that, we have the Hazmat 2020, the ERG guide, emergency response guide. Basically, uh, this is the physical book, but in the digital version. And what's really nice about this compared to the physical book is if you know what you're looking for, you can just type it in the search bar and pull it up right away. Uh, you can also search by name or by the number as well. So you've got your placards. You can take a look at those. You can look at your rail cards. It's all right here for you. Super easy, super convenient to have up for you. Um, when you're dealing with hazardous material and things you don't know about, this is the application for you. Next, we've got a flashlight. Um, I should just note here, this is a front facing flashlight only. Um, most iPhones and smartphones of today have a back flashlight of some sorts. This is just in case you don't have access to that. Uh, this will give your phone, your phone a front facing light. Pocket infusion. This is an application. If you need to, uh, if you need some help calculating your drip rate, your volumes, your times, if you're giving, uh, IV medications, it's all right here for you. So you can put your drug, your dose, your drop factors, and you can space it out for, if you're looking for milligrams a minute, your micrograms, it's all right here for you. Put in your conversions and it'll take care of it for you. It also gives you the option for uh, gravity fed or pump. So if you're dealing with a lot of IVs and medications, this is a great application to have uh, to use either on the fly or just to help you prepare and know your drip rates. All right, next up we have MD Calc. So this is going to be a huge collection, a big library, if you will, of a bunch of different scoring systems, algorithms, formulas, and charts. Um, and when I say all kinds, I mean all kinds. Some, some of these things you've never even heard of before. But basically this takes all kinds of these medical algorithms and, and scoring charts, and it combines them into a nice, easy, alphabetized uh, application. So you can just go through, look for the one you're trying to find. And let's say you're looking for the, I don't even, I've never even seen half of these, but let's say you're looking for Glasgow, Glasgow Coma Scale, good old GCS. Gives you instructions on how to do it, when to use it, perils and pitfalls, and why would you use it? And then it gives you the scoring chart right here bam just like that awesome to use here like i said this it's got a ton uh, of great things in here for you so epocrates this one is incredible this is one of my favorite ones here so how it works you put in the medication you want it gives you the generic name the trade name the subclasses and all the information to go with it so contraindications and cautions uh, your adult your peed indications can you give it to pregnant patients? What is the drug interactions? And then if you have multiple drugs, you can put them on here, run an interaction check, and it'll tell you if there is a, a negative interaction between the drugs or if there's no interactions at all. So this one is a really great app to have. I love this one. Check it out if you're just new to medications or you're just trying to stay up to date on your current medications. This is an awesome learning tool. Ambit. If you're using Ambit pumps, um, if you're in the military, you may be using all kinds of different ambit pumps. If you're in the hospital versus pre-hospital, whatever the case is, you got the pumps here and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use them. 
It's a really nice simulation. Teaches you how to do it. You physically do it. And it just kind of helps lock in that muscle memory on how to use these things. Stroke scales, very similar as the MD calc I showed you. MD calc has a lot more. This just gives you a couple commonly used stroke scales for you. When you're out in the field, you can just click on them and just kind of go through your protocols. There you go. Easy as that. Deploy medicine. For all my military guys, this app is a must-have. You must download this right now if you're in the military or involved in military medicine. This gives you a quick pocket guide as well as the instructor and student guides to all the TCCC courses. So as you can see here, just at the glance, we've got TCCC, hemorrhage control, airways, uh, respirations, chest trauma, circulation, all these great courses that they've already filmed and they've got the pocketbooks for them. It's all right here. So again, if you're in the military, you're a military medic of some sort, or so you're thinking about going into it, or maybe you're doing SWAT medicine, this is the app for you. Go ahead and get this, get to studying, get to learning. There's all kinds of great content right here, easily ready, readily available for you. Flight Radar 24. This is for my flyers. Um, very simple application. It basically lets you see all the different flight times, flight paths, and all that stuff for your flights. So um, nothing too crazy or special here. It's just plain and simple. Okay, first net. Um, not a huge deal. I keep it on here because that is my uh, phone provider that's through AT&T. If you don't already have it, go ahead and look into it. FirstNet is for first responders. It basically puts you on a different cell network and it gives you all kinds of different privileges and bonuses for first responders. So um, look into it if you're interested. Uh, I think it'll really help you out as far as your phone bill and giving you the latest and greatest in terms of cell service. But it is only through AT&T, so just be warned. Okay, uh, these next couple are going to be specifically for my military guys again. Zulu time. Super simple. Gives you the Zulu time, gives you the local time, and you can add multiple time zones. So when you're dealing with your patients, uh, you open up this, this application here, and you can see all the different time zones you have preset and how they correlate with your current Zulu time or local time. Julian date. Just a simple Julian date calendar here. Nothing special but it gives you the Julian date when you need it really quickly. Med standards. This is going to be for my Air Force guys, Army, and Navy. So it gives you a rough, a rough glance here at uh, some of the medical documentation that may apply to you and your job. Obviously, this isn't an extensive list for my military folks, but this does give you some of the commonly used uh, medical documentation in your jobs. Poison control. Hopefully you never have to call them, but Poison Control is here for you. This application, you can either call the number or you can go through the on-screen prompts and it'll help you go through your specific scenario. So if you're with your family or friends, someone, you know, a little baby or toddler happens to ingest something that's poisonous, um, this will help you immediately. Obviously call 911 first, as you can see here, but this will kind of help guide you in the right path. American Heart Association eBooks. You log in and it gives you all the courses that you have been signed up for or purchased. And from here, you can watch your videos. You can re-go over your course information. First aid, CPR, ACLS, PALS, AED, all that kind of stuff is right here for you. So you just log in and you have access to all your coursework right there. This is Translate. Um, I use Apple Translate. But basically, if you're dealing with patients and you need to translate really quickly, you put this in there, have them put in their information or or you know, try to translate the best you can. And this will give you a rough idea and get you going here. It's a great idea to have, especially again, for my military folks. Um, if you're going to deploy locations or dealing with foreigners, that's a great uh, tool to have on you. So you can do some translating if you don't have a translator already. All right. AE, my AE folks, this is for you guys. So KC-135 and C-17 duty day calculator. Basically how it works is you get your alert time, show time, stations, take off, all these special times here. Uh, it even tells you when your last bottle of throttle, last beer is going to be, um, and all that information. So all you're doing is you're putting in your times. Um, so let's say you are aware that you have a 0600 Zulu alert time. This will go ahead and calculate it for you what it's going to be in local time. So you can see here it's going to be a 2300 local time. And a 0600 Zulu time. 
gives you show times, takeoff times, stanchion times, and then the other times there if they're applicable to you. Same thing with the KC-135 calculator. It does it all for you, just different aircraft, different times. So those are great to have if you're in AE. you got to download these apps right now. It'll save you a ton of work, um, especially if you're a charged med tech. You, your crew is going to love you if you can whip this out and give them times immediately. That way, no one's having to calculate and work things out. You can give it to them, and they know right away. Okay, and then finishing up here, last row. This is going to be EMS. This is basically just a training app. If you're studying for paramedic, EMT, and our, uh, your advanced EMT, or anything of that nature, this application is here for you. It gives you thousands of questions, so you can study into your heart's content. Really good content. Really good study tool. Cam scanner. Uh, this is an application. We deal with paperwork all the time in the medical field, so having an application to be able to scan your documents, your physical documents, and get them nice, crisp, and neat, and then being able to upload them and share them with whoever you need is is such a gift. It's very valuable. So I use Cam Scanner. You take a picture of your physical documentation. It uploads it and scans it into a nice, clean format. It looks like it's basically digitized, and then from there you can share it to where you need to go. Arrhythmia. Um, this app is going to be sideways here, so just bear with me. Basically, it's just a great app to practice your arrhythmias, uh, read your rhythms. I mean, nothing else to it. It just is practice is all it is, but it's good practice. And then finally, I have here, uh, this is my county's protocols. So I have my medical protocols, my trauma, my trauma protocols. They're all right here. I have my contacts, my favorites. It's all very easily accessible for me. I keep that right here in the lower right-hand corner just because I use that the most. That's, uh, you know, when my off time, if I need to study or look at my protocols, refresher, I go to that and I got those right there. But this is just a list, a grouping of iPhone applications that I find very helpful for myself. So hopefully you guys learned something today. Take it, make it yours, customize it, put the apps that you think are going to be more beneficial to you on there. And I hope it's going to help you guys out in the medical field. So Again, regardless of your job, if you're in the hospital, you're on the ambulance, or you're on an aircraft, um, these applications are kind of tailored for everybody, and you can customize them however you want to. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and drop me a comment in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. So stay safe, stay prepared, and stay tactical. Take care, guys.